freshwater bodies are a backbone of their surrounding ecosystems, including modern-day communities. For the locals, this is a source of food and income as they rely heavily on fishing. Fishing is an ancient trade dating from 27,000 BC. For Africa, fish has been a big part of a special diet creating a network of trade between different tribes. In this documentary, we plunge into the freshwater shores of a pre-colonial tobacco farm. It was purged from the Zeman before 1980, now known as Darwindale. With a community of over 3,264 people in population, the dam also feeds a significant proportion of the capital. It boasts of largemouth bass fish, weighing up to 8.2 kilograms per catch, a hunting ground for net fishes. For fishermen like Tanashe, this is a test of both skill and courage. The process is very daring. The boat needs to be in motion, one casting the nets whilst the other paddles. This helps with spreading and stretching the net. It's a two-man job, but in hard times like these, one man is forced to make the voyage. Today, Tanashi is alone and needs to complete the task before sundown. Tabika, <laughs> It's a new day in the jungle, and everyone is at work, looking for food. For our fishermen, it's only been half the process. Seven, 
four buckets, three buckets. At which batika. So I the order. Takushitoka, Mongola, maybe my nine. Look at it to Kaku, what you know, in my putting club. In the advancement of their fishing skills, they've also improved their tools. The nets, to be specific. They utilize eco friendly nets that are made from nylon or twine and come in specific sizes. Besides being a form of survival and an art on its own, it is a culture, a way of living, self-sustaining, inheritance from the ancestors passed down through generations. These are the fishermen of Darwin.